So thankfully I have more than just this car because that car would have left me stranded. If you guys watched the last video, well, this happened. Oh, I'm misfiring. Oh, there goes the engine light. The engine light's flashing, boys. And now that has taken us to a beautiful day, and a beautiful day to take out the old girl again. Once again, she has become the power horse, and we're gonna be driving it for the first time in forever. This car is something else. Got the sunroof. I'm just gonna experience this car because it's sure been a while. All right, gentlemen, what is going on today? We've got a brand new video. Today we're gonna be diagnosing and trying to figure out what is wrong with the Winter Beater Mazda 3. Like I said, if you guys watched the last video, you guys would have seen that I was doing a pull with it and Cylinder 2 just totally gave out and is misfiring and not firing at all right now. So um, I had a little bit of uh, learning experience with this with the Miata and the, uh, in this back in the summer so I'm kind of knowing where I'm going to tackle this uh, I got the uh, the Mazda 3 out right now to go to the shop I got to go to the shop and get some tools and unfortunately the shops out of the way so I have to drive there to get my stuff which is unfortunate but this is why I have two cars I'm thankful I still have this one here and then we'll come back and then we're gonna diagnose cylinder number two and see if we can get it to fire again there could be a couple things but I just did the spark plugs if you guys recall so that is where I'm going to start I'm gonna start by pulling out number two and I'm gonna see if it's gapped properly there's a few tools and techniques I want to try but uh, right now I'm gonna enjoy the drive with the Mazda 3 it's been such a long time since I've driven like a car just like this I'm so excited so anyways let's go to the shop get the tools and uh, get started with the day all right gentlemen I've made it home I didn't even realize I didn't record any action with this uh, old girl but uh, she's doing well and uh, she loves a good drive once in a while. So I'm actually kind of glad I brought her out today. It's it's good weather. So I got all my tools here that we're gonna need. A pair of gloves. I got the tool kit assortment of uh, everything that you basically saw in the spark plug video, including the old spark plugs. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start working on this junker. So after driving the other sedan and how like specked out it is with like, you know, suspension, sway bar, you know, massive speed seat and a bad clutch, it makes me realize that this clutch is pretty much like, it's fried. Winter Beater has a new clutch in it, but the Winter Beater also drives like ass compared to that car. That car is so tuned in with its steering and it's so, everything is, oh. I love it so much, but anyways, um, it's really cold out, but uh, here we are, the little bitch, and we're gonna start diving into this here, so I'm gonna explain what we need to do, but here we are back at it. This is what we're looking at, and we're looking at cylinder number two. Cylinder two is not firing, so I gotta go deal with the dog. Bear with me for a second. I gotta, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the coil packs between two of them, see if that changes the firing, then I'll, then I can count out the coil pack. If that's not it, I'm gonna pull the old spark plug out, uh, Regap it and then I'll put it back in see if that works if that doesn't then I'm gonna try one of the old spark plugs. If that doesn't work I unfortunately forgot my compression tester, but that'll lead me down to compression That'll lead me down to the wires and those basically those two things um, if none of this works then I'm gonna boot it down to the dealership and uh, Get my boys to look at it there, but uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so here we are We're gonna go ahead and Swap these two, pop this one in here, and pop this one in here, and then tighten them back down. Let's see. I hope it's something easy. Coil packs are quite expensive, and I'd like to do all of them at the same time. Coil pack swapped. Fortunately, it's gonna be a cold start, which isn't probably gonna be good, even though I held this up the hill, so that's not a big deal, but uh, let's see if that did anything. still missing. Let's go see what cylinder. I'm taking number two again. Oh. Coil pack. That coil pack is not firing. That's done and over with. I've already figured out what the issue is. So that coil pack number two just completely fried out. Um, I've already tried extending the coil, that didn't work. Now all I can really do is just kind of take it apart and kind of go through it, clean off the connections, and uh, if it'll work, but just switch them. Number two coil pack, which was switched to three, now three is not firing, so I know it's a coil pack, which means I'm gonna have to get a full set of four for these, which means I'm gonna go straight to Rock Auto and see what they got. Hi, puppy. Hi, big guy. Hi, big guy. Okay, so 
we're in the house, we're gonna do some shopping here. Now, um, there's some things that you need to know when you're shopping for coil pad. I know for a fact when we're dealing with Mazda Speed 3s, you pretty much need to have OEM coil packs because no other brand really does the job. Number two, when you're dealing with coil packs, you should do all four instead of just that one. Obviously that one just, that one just sh kill like this, this thing killed itself. Like if you guys watch that video again, and it's hard to hear, but the way I felt it was like, da, 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 and then it just died. Like it just like, it just, it just killed, it just nuked itself. So I don't know when the other ones are gonna go. I've never dealt with a coil pack issue in, in Mazda 3s. I've had Mazda 3s up to 265,000 kilometers without a coil pack issue. And it's just surprising that these ones, maybe, I, you know what, I noticed they did change them over the year uh, for post facelift. Maybe that's because these ones tend to fail. I didn't know that, but I am going to have to look for a pack of four now. And it kind of makes sense because it seems like the car did have a misfire once in a while, whether or not that was the bad uh, spark plug. Um, but now I'm going to check all the spark plug gaps for sure. And I'm also going to, I'm also going to have to do all the uh, coil packs. So uh, we're going to go to rock auto here. We're going to take a look. I don't know how, uh, the Mazda 3s are with coil packs, whether or not we really have to keep them OEM. I feel like a decent brand might just kind of do the job. Uh, here we are, 2005. I would, I would switch over the coil packs from my other car, but I don't think that's really the right thing to do. Uh, let's see here. We're looking at about standard replacements. So a set of NGK one. Here, let's see, let's, I'll show you guys here. So NGK right here, NGK is pretty good with electrical stuff. Um, they're looking at 32 bucks. The average price for these are about 30 bucks a piece. Now with Mazda Speed 3 coil packs, we're looking at about 100 bucks per piece OEM. So it's like a $400 um, part. Uh, and like I said, I have to do four of them. So I'm gonna stall on this. I'm gonna drive the Mazda 3 and daily it um, until I can figure this out. I'm gonna get OEM pricing on the coil pack and then we're gonna, I'm gonna get, if they, if they, uh, uh, and then if that's, if it's too expensive, then I'm gonna check out some um, Rock Auto um, people like Bosch makes them it looks like uh and ngk and denzo denzo is the uh oe part that mazda uses their japanese oe um and it looks somewhat dissimilar so if it doesn't work then i'll probably use a denzo coil pack but like i said i'm gonna get some mazda actual mazda um, dealership pricing and then I'll do all four and I'll make a video on it but for now I'm gonna have to daily drive the Mazda 3 which is unfortunate but I, I can bring it down get it clean I can do a little detail on it so uh, that's fine but yeah that's where we are with this uh, coil packs are fried and we know that for sure which is good at least we know that we know what's wrong with the car so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together and uh, and then yeah and then that'll be it what a turd it's supposed to be the most reliable car of the fleet and the Mazda 3 in the winter conditions that we live in is the best one so yeah I'm not really gonna properly put this back together I'm just gonna kind of doink it in there and call it a day really put that in and that should be fine with that being said, rest in peace. Hope to get you fixed soon, baby. Well, with that being said, guys, um, I'm off the insurance. We'll have an updated video when I get the coil packs in, and then I'll do an install and tutorial on how to do your coil packs. Super straightforward, it's just like doing the plug. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for another time and a weird-ass video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button to see the updates. Hit that like button, and turn on post notifications so you know when I upload every time. Other than that, guys, Thanks again. Keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.